Okay, good morning, welcome to Family Math number 70. Family Math number 70. Family Math number 70. So we actually have a really fun Family Math problem this morning. We were talking in the car the other day, and you said you wanted to make chocolate chip cookies. But what was different? That you used Hershey's Kisses. You wanted to use Hershey's Kisses instead of chocolate chips. Now I said that was probably a bad idea, because you weren't big enough. So today we're going to figure out how big you have to be to use Hershey's Kisses instead of chocolate chips. Okay, what's your guess for how big you need to be? To four foot seven. <laughs> four foot seven? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how, how big do you think you need to be to Maybe do? Maybe eight foot eight. Eight foot eight? Whoa, the Chinese. You know how big the tallest person who ever lived was? What? Eight foot eleven. Whoa. Okay, so we didn't have a we didn't have a scale that was good enough, small enough to measure chocolate chips, but we did look on the internet and we found that 50, 50 chocolate chips is one ounce. So that means one chocolate chip is one fiftieth of an ounce. And we found that one Hershey's Kiss is about one one hundredth of a pound. Now, do you know how many ounces are in a pound? Sixteen. Sixteen ounces in a pound. So what do we have to multiply? What do we have to do to convert one one hundredth of a pound to ounces? We have to multiply by sixteen. Sixteen ounces. Over a pound. Over one pound. Sorry, I got a little cold today. Okay, back up just a touch. So this is sixteen ounces, uh, sixteen over one hundred ounces. Yeah, 16 over 100 can be simplified, right? To be what? It's 4 over 25. 4 over 25 ounces. Okay, now this is interesting. We need to figure out how many chocolate chips, which weigh 1 50th of an ounce, do we need to make 4 25ths of an ounce? So well, what's the easiest way to think that through? Well, two chocolate chips is a 25th or a 2 50ths. Okay, two chocolate chips is 2 50ths. How many 50ths is 4 25ths? It's 8 50ths. Eight, you need eight chocolate chips to make a Hershey's, a Hershey's Kiss. Okay, so that's our conversion. Eight chocolate chips is one Hershey's Kiss, according to what we found on the internet, right? Now, obviously, that's going to depend on the size of your chocolate chips, right? Yeah. But, but let's say let's say it's eight chocolate chips. Okay? So our magic formula is eight chocolate chips equals one Hershey's Kiss. Okay, so yeah. now... So you have to be eight times as big Whoa. if you're going to do this. Now, now I, but it's interesting to see what does it mean to be eight times as big. Now we brought our four by four Rubik's cube. Where's the two by two one? Can you hold the two by two one for me? The two by two one and the four. They don't have the same squares. Well, right. So pretend the squares were the same size. So pretend, or the cubes. I mean, pretend these cubes. Can you turn it so people can see what the cubes are? Turn it. Turn the cube. Like. Turn it like this. Okay, so people can see those cubes. Okay, so now, how many cubes make up a 2x2 two two cube? How many smaller cubes are there? Well, there's four on, on each face, but you count some of them twice. Yeah, so why don't you count the top first? One, two, three, four. And then the bottom? One, two, three, four. Is that all of them? Well... It looks like it. Okay, so how many? A two by two by two? Has eight cubes. Eight cubes. How many cubes are, would, would make up a four by four cube if it was all cubes, even on the inside? Four by four by four is 64. Is 64. So there's four by four by four. So this four by four by four cube is eight times bigger than the two by two cube. Whoa. Whoa. So if you're going to be eight times as big, it means you have to be. two times bigger in every direction, two times as wide, two times as deep, and two times tall. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Okay, so if we were all two times as tall as we are right now, we could do this. So you're both about four foot six, right? Yeah. You're a little taller than four foot six, you're a little shorter than four foot six. So you would have to be nine feet tall mm. to make chocolate chip cookies out of Hershey's Kisses and for that to make sense. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I promise you, when you are both nine feet tall, we will do this. Okay. When do you think that's going to be? 
No. Where's, a stre where's a stretchy thingy? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are made out of like spaghetti, we can stretch you out. Okay, so when you get to be nine feet tall, can you get? Can you let me know? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty tall though, right? Yeah. Like yeah. I said, the tallest person ever in the whole world was eight foot eleven. Eight foot eleven. That means no one has ever <laughs> made chocolate chip cookies out of Hershey's Kisses. Hmm. Whoa. Maybe we should try it. <laughs> but we're not nine feet tall. <laughs> Maybe we could try it anyway. Wow, well, what if we... Ah! <laughs> okay, was that fun? Yeah. Alright, here, hold this for me. Mm -hmm. 